Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of World of Truth and my message today is Mother and Child Worship And people don't believe that there is a such thing as Mother and Child Worship As it been projected from the beginning Not from the beginning of, well yes it has been from the beginning of time since Satan was in the garden having a conversation with Eve and right then and there that was the start of breaking up the family home because now forever Satan will be in the woman's air because the woman is emotionally driven less than the man the man that Adam which was created by God himself was closer to God and Adam would not have a snake tell him to disobey God it was not going to happen in fact even after Eve disobeyed God and everything else and even after Adam partake in the same doctrine that Eve did God even offered him a second wife, but he decided to stay with Eve and to go against God. And God didn't punish him for that. He said, okay, I get it. Because it was God that made the woman for the man. So if that was the case and he wanted his woman, then he's going to have a double dose of priorities now the man has to not only obey God but he cannot ignore his wife that's why it says in the Bible paraphrasing that it will be trouble times trying to juggle your wife and God because your wife has needs and God definitely has needs so when you talk about this mother and child worship, it goes so deep, but people refuse to look deeper. And most people will think there's nothing wrong with loving your child, and it's not. It's when, when you pervert the, the purpose of why you have a child. The Lord said you should train a child up the way they should go, which means they will depart from you at some time. At some time, they're going to have to uh, do their own due diligence to get their um, salvation. They're going to have to work it out their own selves. Nobody can work out their salvation but them and between them and God. We only are supposed to teach just like the word says, teach them in the way to go. It's the same way when you're teaching people out in the streets, you're teaching them the way to go. So it's no difference. <laughs> I like this. It's no difference teaching a child and teaching a child and the babe of Christ. It's, it's no difference. It's the same way. You still have to teach them they still have to work it out themselves you don't have the power of hell and death and the keys of hell and death in your hand only jesus does so let's not pervert the ways of the lord we perverted our our position our um, relationships and then it, it, that's why the lord gave us one earthly connection and not, it's not even mother and father. It's between you and your significant other, which means husband and wife, your other half. That is the only, the only flesh relationship that God has a covenant with. It's between a man and a woman. Not mother, not child, not child, not mother. Nobody else, not brother and brother, not sister and sister, not sister and brother. They don't have a covenant. You don't have a covenant with your mama. 
You don't have a covenant with your father. You don't have a covenant with your kids. You don't have a covenant with your boss. You don't have a covenant with your children. You don't have a covenant with your enemies or friends. The only covenant that you have on this earth and the only person that you need to worry about and in and, and, and all honesty is your husband or wife. Everybody else has nothing to do with your marriage. Remember, the Lord says, no man should put asunder a marriage. So no man should come between your marriage. That means your mother, your father, your children, your friends, and even enemies. So we have to lay this foundation because it's been perverted. It has to switch back. Now all you see nowadays is mother and child, mother and child, mother and child. But through the scriptures, it always been father and child, father and child, father and child. You see how the perversion has crept in. And this is why you have feminism is running wild. Feminism is this was the start in modern day of this change. The father is not getting honored. And remember, children and adults that still hold on to this. I'm a mama's I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mommy's girl. Or I'm a, a mama's boy or I'm a, you know, I'm a daddy's girl. Or I'm a, you know, you know, I'm, I'm good with my father only. You know, that is hogwash. You got to respect both. And if you're not respecting both. If you're not honoring both, if you're not treating them as they are one, if you're treating them differently, especially let's just say birthdays, you go all out for your father for your birthday, but you won't go all out for your mother for your for her birthday. You go all out for your mother for her birthday, but you won't go all out with for your father. That's a hypocrite. That is a hypocrite. The scripture says, children, children, honor both your mother and father so you can have long life. That's what the scripture says. But in today's society, it's all about the mother and child. So let's see. Let's see where this comes from. We're not going to try to be long today. We're going to try to pack this in and give it to you as it is. Give me one second. So we are going to talk about mother and child worship. And there we go. God got to make a blacksmith that's not scared to use that hammer. Work on the man. Work on the woman. Work on the man. Work on the woman. Work on the man. Work on the woman. And then when you're done, God look at you and see how beautiful, how wonderful, that's your name. For the silver lining, everything at their disposal, they will, they exercise it. What they do ain't almost never genuine. Drunk off these different spirits, 
Gin and wine, words from the serpent got you open. Ah, oh, gateway to your soul, he owned it. Blood on the precincts in the synagogue. Antichrist always gonna send the frog. Plague in the land, God gon' send the frogs. Blood on your head when you send the God. When you send the God. When you send the God. Blood on the precincts in the synagogue. Blood on your head when you send the God. Bloodline to Satan. Wisdom of Lucifer, cup of abominations, their God is Jupiter. They don't do nothing unless it's lucrative. You're not a Christian because you wear a crucifix. Religious bigots performer for vain glory. When you hear the testimony, it's the same story. Reputations when you so red, it's the same plate. Hate Christians or race, it's the same hate. A soldier never moves, he stay at the same gate. God is everywhere, he's still in the same station. Theologians preaching out of Satan's book. Pirates in the village killing with the hook. Easy to point to the minds they sell it when they're on done. People falling from the faith every time the hill hill sung. I went to the same hill when I heard none. They all sing the same tune, bar none. Blood on the priest's hands in the synagogue. Antichrist always gonna send the frog. Plague in the land, God gonna send the frog. Blood on your head when you send the God. When you send the God. When you send the God. Blood on the priest's hands in the synagogue. Blood on your head when you send the God. The pagan system of sun worship had three main aspects, the father, the mother, and the son. In the ancient Chaldean times, these were the god of Baal or Murdoch. Ninus, the son, who was also worshipped as Tammuz, which is in the scriptures, which they were weeping for at the gate. And the female goddess Rhea, who was also worshipped as Ishtar, Estardi, or Beltis. She was also referred to as the queen of heaven. And we will definitely dig deep into the queen in heaven. Wait till you wait till my movie come out. And the wrath subduer, Mary has received these same names in Catholicism. So right there and there, Mary is connected to all these deities. They will all they will all, Satan will always use parts of the Bible. To, to, to make his argument that his doctrine is better than the Lord. And that's this is what it is. Mary has received these names in Catholicism. Now, Catholicism is a Catholic church, which is the universal church, which, uh, which is in charge of church, period. I'm talking about modern day church. Okay. Mother and child worship. Let's go down here. Mother and child worship was the basis of ancient religions and the various religions of the world. The same system of worship was per perpetuated under different names. In Egypt, the mother and child were worshipped as Isis and Osiris or Horus, which was Tammuz. Tammuz is the, as Baal, Baal was the, the image of all the gods, Tammuz is the same way with all the gods. You'll see in India as I see or an Asura, in China and Japan as the mother goddess Sheng Mu with child, in Greece as uh, Ceres or Irene and Plutus, in Rome as Fortuna, Fortuna, and Jupiter Pure. 
or Venus and Adornis, and in Scandinavia as Frigga and Boulder, the mother and child were worshipped in Babylon as Ishtar and Tammuz. We back to that again. And Phoenish as Ashtaroth and Baal. Moreover, the child was worshipped as both husband and son of the mother goddess. Now this is where we at. I've been saying it for years in a few years let's just say that the child the sons of today has become the replacement of the husbands <laughs> I'm gonna say it again the son today has been replaced the husband has been replaced by the son today the son has become the husband of the mother. And there's reasons for that. Again, the whole point of this mother worship is to take away the authority of God, is to take away the man from the home. With no man in the home, with no man that is under God and serving God, you do not have a covering. just plain and simple without the man you do not your mother the child the mother the child right now any mother or child that is a single mother and a single mother does not have a covering unless she's in you know unless she's following the lord and the lord is her covering that's something different but we're talking about spiritually on earth as a family you do not have a covering if the husband is not in there covering you. You always have to have a covering. And then from today, the pastor has become the covering of these homes. And now that's even been perverted because now you have pastors calling their congregations sons and daughters. And the congregation is calling the, the pastor father. No different from Catholicism. It's just that it's just it, it is what it is. Like the scripture says, you should have one father, one spiritual. You only have one spiritual father. I don't understand why people continuously say I have a spiritual father on earth. You might as well go to Catholic. You might as well go to a Catholic church because they don't they they look at the pope as their father also so you're not doing anything different the lord says separate yourself and be holy how you being holy you calling your, your your pastor father you might as well go to a catholic church it is what it is you can hate it love it disagree all i say is show me where i'm wrong that's it that's all i ask um so now you have the hut of son being the, the husband of the mother and you see this time and time again you see this time and time you, you just don't even the men has given in to the mother and child worship because some of these men became females also so now that's been perverted even deeper now some children have two mothers see how perversion is how perverted it got Without the man, you do not, without a man of God in the house, you do not have a covering. Most females are left with children and they build these special bonds with children over the years, which is, it's not bad, but what's damaging is that they only getting that motherly nourishment. And you cannot live off milk alone. <laughs> In the scriptures, it says a person that is fed milk is unskillful in teaching. So if a child is, has always been around their mother for years and years and years, especially a man, a man, I'm talking about a boy, a boy been around his mother for all these years getting milk not getting meat getting milk so when they come out 
into society and things get hard. They are unskillful in life because they never have gotten the meat that they deserve or got enough meat that they deserve. And the meat most of the time comes from the man. Why? Because a man has authority. A man is about not control, but a man ruleth. Okay. And that's the, that's the order that God has put it. Man ruleth, woman follows, children learn in the ball game. Now, is men and women equally the same as far as the scriptures? Yes. But as far as their job, it's a difference. So when you break up the order in the home, you, it's out of order. I was brought up in a broken home. My mom did not have I did not have a covering when I was a child. My mom was the covering for me. And for her, she didn't have no covering. So that's why she, my mom, had, for a long time, was out of whack until she got right with God. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. And that helped me look at her situation. And that helped me get through my situation. When I saw God help her, oh, okay, he can help me also. I survived, but many people don't survive coming out of broken homes. And this is why children are just going crazy. But anyway going back to the message so the son has become the husband of the mother in the home and the parent and these mothers don't understand that when you have a male in the house you can't treat him as you treat your daughters you can't treat your son as you treat your daughters you can't go shopping with your son like you go shopping with your daughters you can't take your son to the nail salon like you take your daughters. Y'all don't play dress up and say, how do I look and how do I look and how do I look? You do that with your daughters. I never played dress up with my mom. I never went to the nail salon or nail shop with my mom. I never went to the, uh, the hair salon with my mom. Never wanted to, never did, and glad I didn't. I don't even do it with my wife don't want to do it don't care to do it it's just something that men shouldn't even even worry about in fact your wife shouldn't be worrying about that either to tell you the truth but that's a whole nother conversation for another day the male component let's keep it moving the male component is counterfeited of Jesus Christ. The biblical names used for Jesus were also used for the child in ancient religions. Zoroaster was referred to as the seed. Merthra, the Persian sun god, was referred as the savior. Dionysus as the sin bearer. Bacchus, <clears throat> excuse me, as branch, as the branch. Venetia, as the victim man and Osiris as the king of kings. The legend of Nimrod. The system of worship. Let's go. How y'all like this? The system. The system of worship has its origin in the legend of Nimrod and his wife Semiramis. Semiramis. Nimrod, the great grandson of Noah rebelled against God like his father Cush. Eventually Nimrod was put to death for his evil deeds and according to the ancient um, patriarchal system parts of his body were sent to various cities as a warning. So what happened was Nimrod died, Samaris 
cut his body up into I think 13 pieces or 14 pieces and those 13 or 14 pieces has been um, has been spread across the world even I guess today maybe right but that that's what's been said all right allegedly right she took his phallus she took his phallus okay what you see at uh, the Vatican what you see at the White House that obelisk is Nimrod's penis I'm gonna say it again the obelisk is Nimrod's penis this same symbol is on top of church buildings also the same symbol look around you will see the same symbols on top of these churches i always wonder what was the point of these type of big long just long poles or blocks or whatever you want to call it or pillars what was the point of them it has meaning it is nimrod's penis so we're in a system that's serving that's worshiping phallicism in this story his wife Simeramis fled but spread the rumor that he had ascended to heaven where he had become one of the sun one with the sun when Simeramis later gave birth to a son she claimed that it was the reincarnation of her defiled husband and that he had returned to save the human race see how the devil mimics See, when Jesus was spoke, Jesus was spoken of all through the Old Testament. The promises of Jesus Christ and the promise of, of God our Father was set at the foundation of the world. And things had to happen before it manifests so a lot of this stuff jesus death happened spiritually before it happened before it manifests in real life now people don't want to believe that but it's said in the scriptures that this happened before the foundation of the world don't you know there was a war in heaven before the foundation of the world so right then and there god had to make a way out for his creation because since his since the eight of fallen angels had went in down into earth and corrupted it and made made it darkness and chaos his creation will, will not be able to flourish without him intervening so that's why he set all these ways for us to follow in order for us to get through this dark earth this dark world this world of darkness So you have Nimrod dying, being one with the sun, sun, sun. That's why you have Sunday worship, sun. And then he came back as Tammuz. All right. She later, she was later deified as the mother of the sun. So after Nimrod died, she became God <laughs> matter of fact she became the mother of God wow mother of the sun God oh man and it was supposed she had ascended into heaven as the queen of heaven which is in Jeremiah and the various cultures throughout history and around the world the same basic deities have been worshipped under different names now we're gonna go to another deity we're gonna switch it up to yamonja now there this is a black god okay this is your official black god yamoja also spelled emoji that's why you have emoji yamoji emoji emoji <laughs> 
so the so before we dig into this i'm just going to go back a little bit so now you have the mother being portrayed as god now from that point on when nimrod died from that point on that same religion let me get that out of here that same religion is here today and the catholic church is carrying that and has spread over the muslims deify the mother hinduists deify the woman the woman buddhists hinduists all of them deify anything outside of christ deifies the woman mother and child worship at some point, mothers, you're going to have to let go of your child. It says, a son should leave his mother and child and cleave to his wife. Same should happen to the daughter. No difference. Because she get hot in the pants too. Your child is not honoring you if they having sex in your house. And if they having sex in your house and they getting babies out of your house they, they should not be celebrated what they do is they have sex in your house you get mad at them and then you throw them a party and then you wonder why two three months later your child is in a, a relationship um, struggle why because it's done out of order had sex with sex um, they had sex before marriage had a child before marriage they not even married and the parents are celebrating giving them baby showers and money and all this stuff but they're not married it's perverted it was one year i think it was one year i think last year or a year ago where it was a whole it was a pandemic of young females getting pregnant and having babies it was a pandemic all you seen on the, on on your your, sh your short stories and what have you were baby baby reveals baby reveal baby reveal baby reveal but none of these people are married parents is right there yeah 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 whatever celebrate two months later the relationship is in shambles now you hate the baby father now you hate the baby mother you know why it's like that because it was done out of order and you allowed it see you parents is going to get judged also for allowing these things and when the t when when you was taught about it you ignored it so whatever happens to your child it's on you you didn't touch you didn't teach them the right way Instead, you celebrate it when they did wrong. I'm just saying. I don't make this up. Let's keep it moving. Yamoja, also spelled Yamoji or Yamo Yumaja, you're being your <laughs> your Ruben deity celebrate celebrated as the giver of life and as the metaphysical mother of Orisha deities within the Yoruba spiritual pantheon. Yemoji's name was derived from Yor um, Yoruba words of Yeye or Aya, mother, Omo, child, children, and Ija, fish. Here we go. Fish. Wait, 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 wait for this. Wait for this one. And thus literally means mother whose children are fish. <laughs> According to the Aitan stories of Yoruba, the Arisha emoji was primordial spiritual entity who was charged by Oli Olo Fi, God also now known as Olo Demer, Dumer, if I'm not saying it right, excuse me, to assist Arisha. Obatala with the formation of humans and Olofi's creations of earth. 
Yemoji, Yemonja, Emoja, descended to Earth on a rope with 16 other Arisha from Oran, the abode of Olufi, and traveled throughout the world engaging with, the, with other Arisha and preparing the world for, for humankind. She is the Arisha of the Ogon River, the largest river with, within the territory of Yoruba land. And as the counterpart as of um, Olakan, who represents the a noble bottom of the sea. In Yoruba land in Nigeria, each town maintained its own deity based on myths of its founders. Tapa and Oke Oki Ogon area is where emoji emo emoja say emoji <laughs> originated. However, the worship of emoja began in excuse me Saki Abikatu Abikata, the capital of Ogon State, is the site of her principal shine. She is especially celebrated in Abara quarter of that city. I can't say these names. Let's keep it moving. Because we're almost done. I think it was one more part I wanted to look at. Okay. Emoji was um, frequently portrayed as the wife of various male personified Orisha. So they have male Orisha. And so these deities can interchange from man to woman. So Orisha can be a man and woman just as Baal can be a man and woman. It's the same practice we just read these things have different names they just they did they, the same deity but they change names that's it that's it such as all these names right here i can't see them she is also said oops, she is also she is also said to be the mother of ogon sango and all these other names many other items describe her as having Never giving birth, but having raised many children, and particularly Sango, Dada, and um, the uh, Boji twins. The items also describe her as having long breasts as a result of many children she nourished. So they took out the Bible, nourish your children, but used the long breasts as the doctrine of her nourishing children. Okay sexualizing the doctrine i told you this is all this is all sex driven now what we're talking about here is really water spirits marine kingdoms water spirits these females always attack men they always attack men they love men they love having sex with men in their sleep they love coming in their dreams they want to be married to these men. This marine kingdom goes way deeper than what I'm talking about. And if I wanted to dig into it, it would be a long study. But just to give you a synopsis, these water spirits are um, female spirits, mermaids, fish gods. In the um, Old Testament, they had a god called Dagon was half man half fish and they still do the same thing today these symbols with the fish and we think that this fish symbol is for jesus christ is only deified as that because of the fish god they threw that in there that did that that symbol of the fish supposed to represent jesus christ because he fed the people five thousand five thousand people with fish okay but that's where that fish thing came from but we don't carry on with symbols and traditions so we i don't subscribe to that fish symbol that be on people cars and stuff i don't subscribe to none of that her sensitivity and embarrassment about her long breasts are consistently throughout the stories and several tell her turning into turning herself into a river in response to insults about that about that by other Orisha. so she was being teased about her long breasts 
I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know where they get these stories from. Although the um, the attributed to uh, um, although also attributed to the original Oshan stories refer to uh, Yemoji Yemoja as having been given or as have stolen the ability to interpret the oral scripture verses of the 16 Odu Ifa through the divination process called I don't know what that says. It is said that the emoji the emoja taught other Risha the alternative method of assessing the Adu through the throwing of Kora um oh, the the um can't say it the Korari shells. That's some little shells that they be putting around their necks and their head and stuff, the little um, white shells. The uh, Korari shells. I know what they talking about. So that in itself is a uh, tradition that they have. Uh, do I need to read any more? Let's read one more, okay? And then we be done. Your moja has been likened to a tom to I'm not. I can't say that word. Fluid, because she is too. She is to protect her children against predator world, against a predator predatorial world. She is temperamental and can be soothing or unpredictably violent. She is the Arisha of fertility as well as of the bodies of. My phone going crazy. Yeah, I got an Android. So what? She is um she is the Orisha of fertility as well as of the bodies of water and has under her protection dock workers, boat rights, fishers, sailors, swimmers, and others who work, live, and travel around water. Yamoja is the patron of Gelid Society, Society of Mothers. Never heard this before. She is associated with the fish gill face markings worn by the whatever that name is initiated into the priesthood and is said to have said to have assisted Sango in the ending of the practice of twin infant side in Nigeria. Her animals totems are the duck, the vulture, the snake. And the small snail. Her sacrifice animals are the ram and the lamb, duck, rooster, goat, fish, and pigeon. She is represented in various shrines of Africa by sacred stones known as the Ota, placed in the river water and a uh, calabash. So it says down here where the emoji has traveled to from the caribbeans you know they then the, the caribbean islands rome brazil cuba puerto rico puerto rico trinidad yes they have altars are often decorated with fountains and other symbols of the sea such as fish nets miniature boats shells live fish peacock feathers fans and blue or blue and white crockery vessels that her house is sacred stones in ocean or river water okay so she's planted all over the water and again these are marine spirits these are marine spirits so we can go so deep into it but I just want to tap into the mother child worship and just to show you how deep this goes. And with the emoji, it's the same thing. Ogon and Orisha was together, but Ogon could be a, a female also. Orisha can be a female or male. So this whole religion is perverted with a lot of heresies. And has crept into churches, has crept into homes, and crept into so-called culture, has became culture, and we're in trouble, people. We don't get our home right. If you don't get your home right, how can you survive the latter days? Remember, the scripture says, the enemies of your house, the enemies will be the people of your house. 
that means mother would be against daughter, daughter against father, father against mother, mother against father, father against children, children against father. It's going to be terrible. And this is why the Lord specified that there would be trouble in your home because of this separation right here with the mother and child. It should be the family unit. It should be the father first. The father should, should be honored. You're not honoring the father if you're not letting him play his position. Oh, man. You're not honoring the mother or father if you're not allowing them to play their position. For instance, a son can go to a mother and talk about manly things. But the mother will not can go, but only can go but so far because she has to be a man to have experience to tell the son certain things. Now, the mother is not giving the father honor. Neither the child is giving the father honor if they don't allow him to do his job. If the child is always going to the mother and never going to the father, you're not honoring the father, period. Because you're not allowing him, you're not allowing him to play his position. To give honor to somebody is to play a position. That's why in, when before a person, before a man marries a woman, he goes to the parents. Matter of fact, more so, he go to the father first. That's giving honor. That's giving honor. Allowing the mother or the father to play their position is how you give honor. In this story. In this story. So I don't know what else to say. But I just want to give you all a short little teaching. I know this is about 40 minutes. But that's all I can give you. And that's all I want to give you. If I wanted to dig some more deep into this. We can come back. We can circle back around. But remember, just pay attention. This mother and child worship is still going on, and it's been it's been it's been the devil's plan since the beginning of time. Women are emotional. They play on their emotional, uh, their emotions and their heartstrings. The devil cannot handle a man of God. And men, you have to be discerning these things in your house and that's all i can say about that just do the best you can walk in the lord ways and he'll give you the truth and the truth will make you free this is word of truth 316 i'll let y'all on a rebound one Can't tell if you break past up along the way, been the fit you ass straight, ass drain, did it on your own, some didn't try. The bell, the creator, but call for God. Barefoot in the field of snakes, snakes. Dependence been the men you can't relate. Can't relate. The words born to stay relate by the false kind manipulated regulation. Things happen over time. Check ball, big mouth like Lavar. Black cover thoroughly, I still take charge. Ballpoint Frank, I'm on the road. Swag in my walk, and I'm back on my stroll. Back on my stroll. God's word forever, dead sea scrolls. Truth of God's conscious for this soul. God's word forever. Mr. I can't, I ain't won't do right. Mr. I won't, I don't wanna get right. Mr. I can't, I ain't won't do right. Mr. I won't, I don't wanna get right. Get right, can't get right, can't get it right, can't get it right, can't get right, can't get it right. Mr. I can't, I ain't won't do right. Mr. I won't, I don't wanna get right. Yeah. Flex the devil off the turnbuckle, Mr. Incredible, edible, coming with good substance in the spur.